The counting of votes in the presidential elections is underway in Iran. After voting closed post-midnight on Friday after a series of extensions, initial counting trends as per the Interior Ministry says Masoud Pezeshkian is ahead of his closest rival, Saeed Jaleli, by about 30,000 votes. Of nearly 58,000 polling stations, votes have been tallied in 47,000 stations, 442 out of the 482 cities have been covered, 19 million votes have been counted. Masoud Pezeshkian has 8 million out of over 19 million votes. Saeed Jalili has 7.1 million votes, with neither of the candidates reaching the 50% vote mark as required. The poll seems headed into a runoff between Pezeshkian and Jalili on the 5th of July. Third in the race, as per early figure, is Mohamed Baghed Kalibov with over 2.6 million, followed by Mustafa Purmadini. The voter turnout was recorded at 40 percent or about 24 million people. Now, not much is to, expect, to be expected to change for Iran post the results. All four candidates align with the ideologies of the Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, who has held power since 1989. The expectations over little change are also visible in the voter turnout. Public discontent, especially among Iran's youth, has kept voters away in recent elections. My name is Mohammad Ali Dost and I work in the private sector. I was unsatisfied with the current situation. I was not happy, so I came to vote. I don't expect too much of a change, but I wanted to vote for my favorite candidate. I don't think there would be a big change. I am a student. The cost of education is my challenge as a student and it has rapidly gone up. Ease of access to higher education is what I expect which would eventually lead to a better economic situation. While the new president is to be elected, he has very little control over Iran's backing of these groups, its policy on nuclear program or relations with the West. These matters are directly dealt with Khomeini. Now, the only thing that, the, that remains in the realm of Fred's president are day-to-day -day government functionalities and the ton, uh, tone of Iran's foreign and domestic policy. Masoud Pezeshkian is the only relative moderate among the four backed by the pro-reform camp. The spokesperson for Pezeshkian campaign spoke to Vion correspondent Anas Malik, who is in Tehran covering the elections. Do listen in. We hope that at the end of this election, we will have good news. I hope that Mr. Pezeshkian will win and whatever the people's expectations are, he will deliver on them. Our priority is economy and second is foreign policy. The seven-point plan has to be implemented in five years' time, which has been there since a while and the Supreme Leader has endorsed it, and it should be executed. If there are any problems in it, they can always be addressed and amended by the President. Now, correspondent Anas Monik, who isn't that on covering the elections, is joining us live. Thank you, Anas, for joining us again. Now, we see that we are very close to the uh, results now. What kind of reactions do you think are coming from candidates or elsewhere from the public? We yet to see Jotsuna, the reactions coming in. I'm standing inside the Ministry of Interior in Tehran. A short while back, the spokesperson of the Ministry of Interior, uh, Mohsen Islami, came on this very deck, on this very dice, and announced the counting results as of uh, now or as of an hour back. Uh, the results that are being compiled in the room that is to my left inside. That's where they're being compiled. The media is not allowed inside that place. Uh, and as what the results stand, 19 million votes out of the 61.4 million total votes have been counted for. So that's about 33 percent, uh, 33 uh, roughly about 33 percent voter turnout that is confirmed as yet. Out of the 482 cities of uh, Iran, uh, the counting has been completed in uh, 442. So we're about 40 cities, 40 cities out uh, and we're still awaiting results but the news from the ground is that uh, Masood Pazeshkia continues to solidify his lead he's now uh, he has now backed about 8 million and 3,000 votes that's about and uh, on on the contrary his uh, uh, counterpart 
or uh, his uh, opposition candidate uh, is Saeed Jalili from the Conservatives. He's backed about 7.1 million. So that's about that's a, a huge difference. That's about 90,000 uh, uh, votes, roughly about 90,000 votes that are uh, there uh, in the lead uh, on the part of Masood Pazishkia. And uh, in, in, in some hours from now, we'd be uh, hearing uh, the Ministry of Inter the Minister for Interior himself announcing the final results as and when they are compiled. Then only we'd be seeing in reactions coming in. But in all likelihood, Iran is heading to a runoff election. That means there will be a round two. That means Iranians will go, to go back to voting next Friday uh, in all likelihood as things stand. All Just right, Anas. Well, we of course will be looking at when we get the results and if we see a runoff. Thank you for giving us the details so far.